Okay, so we are just talking about getting the, uh, you know, the, the bass and the kick drum really just locked like a glove. And the synergy of movement across the parts in a mix and creating a movement with EQ and, you know, like a rubber banding effect, something that's going to just really drive and hit. So that's very, very important. So, okay, let's, let's hear it. I'm just balancing the bass. Alright, let's chew on these guitars for a bit because I feel like the bass is sounding pretty badass, but I don't know how badass it is until I actually get to the guitars and we see how well we've done. So let's bring up the guitars and see what happens. Other than I have my bass too loud. This is Machine Head, they're a guitar band, right? Like Machine Head has got to be is got to be rocking. So I think a, a good part uh, is to find the riff and let's work on uh, let's work on getting this riff. I'm gonna start by EQing. You know, in my opinion, I feel like um, I don't like the 421s as much as I like the 57s. So I'm gonna. Can I tell you that I almost never like 421s on guitars? But I'm I know I'm alone here. Colin Richardson's like the only dude that knows how to get them to sound right. <laughs> Not the only guy, but he's damn good at it. I um, I struggle with 421s. So let me just go to 57s and see what happens. I feel like that's better. Let me grab the EQ and just go experiment. All right, I need to L1 these. Too much movement. Can you, explain, can you explain where you're hearing that movement? In the low end? Now you could see four of them, right? So we could compare. Um, boop, 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 on the guitar, right? Let me um, solo it. I've got to solo the bus here. If I were to EQ it out specifically, I'll show you. That's what I was talking about, those cabinet resonances. Like there's that part in the room where just something wasn't jiving and it's just boop, 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 boop. It's, I hate it. So if you take too much out of it, you lose all your punch. So a little bit of limiting helps tame that and we're gonna go work on it with EQ. And 
And that's sounding better. So, you know, just cleaning up the, the mess, kind of. Let's do it in context. I'll solo the guitar, A, B, the bypass. See how much tighter that is? That's, it's like night and day. Now, these guitars still sound like shit <laughs> to me. So, for, for lack of a better word, let's... Um, I'm struggling with the parametric EQ on this. Um, okay, so there's some interesting things going on. I don't hear a lot of fizz up there, so I don't feel like I need to low pass it. Like that almost does nothing. What I hear is just endless bottom end. So let's try to get rid of some of that. here uh we got to get some i want more note um but not low mid note i want more like presence and we need some top Now when I'm dialing in the top end, I'm listening to the top of the kick and I'm listening to the top of the bass. So I'm trying to find that point where we're locking the, the, air, the right frequency areas into the top of the kick, like the click, as well as like the swank on the bass. Yes, I just boosted 4K. That happened, that, that really happened. Did you see that? Yes, I just, and I love it. And it sounds good, hold on. Ready? doesn't it? I think so. Just trying to get the perfect amount. Boost at four, about at one point one and a half, like one and a half at one point eight, and um, eight at fourteen. Now usually I filter down at like you know six to eight, but these guitars are just so dull and they're so bassy. Let's try to get. The, I gotta try to get the low end a little bit better. Now, while I'm doing this, I'm listening not necessarily to the guitar. I'm listening to the attack of the kick. I'm listening to the bottom of the bass, the top of the bass. And I'm just trying to, like, really find that spot, you know, where it's just, like, locked. Sometimes 0.1 dB really matters. So I'm really just... I'm not only doing that, listening to the frequency, but I'm also 
when I'm listening to this, thinking about how I feel. Like some frequencies, I feel like eh, that's not there, and then all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, and then I ease up into it, and then I feel like it's, eh, eh, then I lose it. So I'm trying to find that spot when I'm sweeping back and forth between a couple of point one, point two, point three, where it's like, eh, too much back, uh, and I'm trying to find that sweet spot. So it's very interesting when you sweep around a couple of dB, and you're in a good frequency range. You know, you can just how it tightens up. So. Two things I hear that I don't like. Something up on the top. Amazing how that little cut just makes the whole thing like masking frequencies, right? I think people sometimes feel like they need to turn those down by like 75,000 dB. You do sometimes. <laughs> no, you do. But not always, not always.